Hi there, this is the second truss example. And uh, one thing I just wanted to point out here in this example is that even though we're looking at trusses and how to analyze them, um, sometimes it's easier to just look at the entire truss design to get what you need. And in this case, um, all we need to find is uh, the reaction at both A and B, which my point is that we don't need to go through the analysis of every single joint. Rather, we can just go through the analysis of uh, essentially what you would do with a rigid body. So uh, let's start off with that. First off, we need to draw a free body diagram. So I'm just going to draw this like a box. It's going to be something like this. You're going to have a 50 pound force pushing here. You're going to have a 50 pound force pushing here. You're going to have your point A, which is going to have a force up. I'm going to call this uh, AY. Call this AX. And then all we're going to have over here is BY. And the reason is, is because since these are wheels, that just means, this means, so, I don't know, tri triple arrow or something, that um, BX is zero. And that's because the wheels would just roll. They wouldn't resist the motion. They wouldn't support anything. they just roll. So, okay. So, let's get back to it. Uh, we could do our general stuff where we have uh, general static, you know, rules that uh, the sigma fx is equal to zero. So we just add up all of the x direction or x component things. So, what we have here is we have 50 plus 50. And if we just look at our free body diagram, um what you'll see is that we have it in the plus direction AX and that will equal to zero. Well, if you solve for that you're gonna get your AX will equal to negative 100. So we can kinda just solve for that right off the bat. What about our Y direction? F of Y is equal to zero as well. Well, the only things that really participate in that is AY and plus BY. And that equals zero, so we know that uh, AY is equal to negative BY. So we just know that they're negatives of each other, they're opposite of each other. So this is where the moment will come in, and we can just go down here. We say the sum of the moments at, let's just pick A, because I see two forces at A, and I can cancel two forces and I have to deal with them there. So a moment at A, we will have, first of all, you can do both of the 50s. So I would do in the 50 times the arm length, 10. And that's in the negative direction because that's going clockwise. Clockwise as in this direction. minus, once again it's going to be 50 times 20, that's the new arm length, that's for the further out 50, and that would also be going clockwise, that's why it was negative. Then plus 10, 10 times by. And that's positive because it's going, you know, opposite of the others. So this all equals zero and if we just kind of lay this all out uh, what you'll get is 10by is equal to 500 plus 1000 which using that by will equal 150 pounds not too bad. So now we're getting there. We know that um, using this 
function right up here that we got from just looking at the y components, we can see that it's just opposite. So ay is going to equal negative 150 pounds. And that's just because of the, the function right above. Okay, so now we have pretty much all of them. We just have to solve for the actual, you know, the reaction forces, which is just a, a, a combination of the two. So you can use the Pythagorean theorem to combine them. If, we're, if we were to look at, um, you know, well, first of all, we could look at point B and realize that, uh, you know, it's just BY. And there's no BX. BX is, BX is zero. The combination uh, with BX equaling zero, you'll see that uh, the combination of BX and BY, since BX is equal to zero, is 150 pounds, which you can see straight above it. So now we can go on and we can find AY if we look at point A, you'll see that AY is 150 down, and it's also 100 left. So if you get this, like, if you get the combination of the two by using the Pythagorean theorem, which is going to be your combination, which would be RA, is going to equal square root of 100 squared plus 150 squared, which turns out to be around 180.3 pounds. And, and that's it. And, and it's really not, not too complex. And you can realize that um, there is a way around doing some trust design, uh, the trust analysis, if all you need is maybe reaction forces. Um, this is also a good way to get shortcuts rather than having uh, four unknowns. You could maybe have three or two or it, it is a way to cut down on the number of unknowns and some problems are actually impossible if you do not do them in this fashion. So, Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.